We look forward to gathering with you every year to provide an update on our accomplishments and to thank all of you who make the successes possible. We missed being able to do that this year. I miss you all, but we still have important news to share. It fills me with so much awe and so much gratitude to provide these annual updates. When I take time to reflect on an entire year's worth of work, and I think about our amazing staff, our visionary board, our dedicated volunteers, our stalwart supporters, our rich partnerships, and the amazing landowners motivated to protect their precious land, my heart overflows. And this year, while being different in so many ways, is certainly no different in that regard. In August of 2018, we publicly announced the Campaign for Generations, a bold regional undertaking. Well, with just months to go in the campaign, I'm truly excited to tell you that, thanks to your support, together we have completed 49 projects featuring 4,513 acres of the best land with nearly 18 miles of shoreline. This is a great combination of natural lands and farmlands, some open to the public, some privately owned. Today, I'm happy to report that we now have four universally accessible trails open to the public at the Timbers Recreation Area, Arcadia Marsh, Arcadia Dunes, and the St. Clair Lake Six Mile Lake Preserve. And we are breaking ground this fall on another at Pyatt Lake, the Bill Carls Nature Preserve on Old Mission Peninsula. And with tremendous support from our volunteer colleagues, we have built an additional 45 miles of sustainable trails bringing us to an astonishing 107 miles of trails throughout the region. Just in the past year, we've opened three new nature preserves, the Torch Lake Nature Preserve, Lower Woodcock Lake, and Upper Manistee Headwaters, the Mylock Family Preserve. The Charlie Kerr Memorial Trail Connector at Railroad Point Natural Area and connecting to the Betsy Valley Trail is also complete. And after years of working on it, we now have the opportunity to protect the final inholding at Railroad Point. And just look at this stunning property. On the shores of Crystal Lake with the Betsy Valley Trail and the Charlie Care Connector right there. Two more really significant properties in Benzie County have recently been approved by our Board of Directors. The proposed Embayment Lakes Preserve with frontage on Rush and Long Lakes, which is going to help safeguard important wildlife habitat and water quality in the Platte River watershed while enhancing recreation opportunities in the vicinity of the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. And Mount Minnie, an iconic and scenic landmark property located on Dead Steam Road on the isthmus between Big and Little Platte Lakes. When completed, it will be yet another premier Northern Michigan hiking location with some of the finest vistas over these marvelous lakes that we all love so much. And then there is a project that has such deeply personal meaning for my staff and me. The Conservancy worked with the Chakras and Rotary to preserve land formerly owned by Rotary Camps and Services that forms a gateway into the Boardman River Valley along Garfield Road. I appreciate all that the Chakras did to make this dream come true. A neighbor expressed their appreciation for this incredible accomplishment by putting up a sign that simply said, thank you, Chakras, love the land and pass it on, end quote, which is one of the themes of our campaign for generations. Boy, did that make our hearts leap with joy. Another exciting project is the Clarence Cropa family property 
west of Hickory Hills in Garfield Township. The Conservancy has been talking to the Kropa family for 28 years about protecting this land. And I'm excited that we now have an option and we're working with the REC Authority of Traverse City and Garfield Township to preserve that as a great addition to the whole Hickory Meadows, Hickory Hills complex. What a legacy for future generations. Stay tuned. In each of the five counties in our service region, land is being protected. Trails are being built. Stewards are coming forward to volunteer their time and talents. And the land is still calling and we are still answering. By June 30th, 2021, just during the six years of the campaign, we will have completed at least 78 major projects. Together, we will have protected at least 8,000 acres of critical land and more than 25 miles of irreplaceable shoreline. We will be announcing our new grand total for all 30 years of the Conservancy's work at next year's preservation celebration. I know we will have a lot to celebrate. Hopefully we will be able to do that in person rather than over Zoom. A thousand thanks to you, our donors, supporters, cheerleaders, and friends. You believe in this work, perhaps like no other time before. You know why it matters. You know the peace these places bring us during troubled times. You want your grandchildren and their grandchildren to have the same remarkable opportunities and memories as we have had to fish and swim in crystal clear water, to take a walk in the woods, to breathe in the fresh air, to sit in awe of the views, to look forward to that day in May when the cherry trees blossom, and that day in July when we enjoy the cherry harvest. You are making that promise to our future generations. You humble me, you inspire us all, and I truly cannot Thank you enough.